Yeah, so we're going to pick up where the, where the officer left off. So we're talking about the nation of Israel. So I want to ask everybody out here, um, you read the Bible, you go to church? Did you go to church? Say so you do? Used to. Used to. What about you? All right, so the brother was telling you that in most of our churches, we were taught this image right here, that this was Christ, the Messiah. But the brother did a great job explaining through the, through the spirit of the Most High that Christ would be more of a, of this right here. Because Christ is a dark-skinned man, okay? So we're going into the lies. So another thing I need to, to make sure that y'all know that you come from the uh, 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's who you descend from. That's Those right. are God's chosen people. Right. Now I'm asking you this. If y'all know, y'all know about the story of Moses, how he went into Egypt and, and took the children of Israel and led them out from captivity from the Egyptians, right? You heard about that story? Let my people go. Get, get that Exodus 5 and 1 real quick, just to make sure y'all know that. So God has a specific people that he saved out of captivity because our people were under captivity and bondage to the Egyptians. We are not Africans. We are not Hamites or 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 the uh, those those African nations. We don't descend from them. We descend from God's chosen people. All right. This is the book of Exodus, chapter five and verse one. And afterwards, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, "Thus saith the Lord God of Israel." The Lord God of who? Of Israel. So the Lord God of this Bible is the Lord God of who? The nation of Israel. Your father. Will he be a so-called African-American or Haitian or West Indies or Indian? What would he be? African-American? What about yours, bro? What's, what about your father? African-American? Hey, sis. Would your, would your father be African-American, a Haitian, a Jamaican, a Indian? What would he be? African-American. All right, so y'all all say the same thing. What about you, bro? I believe my dad is Native American. Native American, all, all praises. So look, check this out. On, I'll show you right here. On the top of this sign, all y'all four were descended from the tribe of Judah, the same tribe that Christ came from, the Black Messiah. All right. Your tribe is on here too. You would be from either the tribe of Gad or Reuben. So you would be of the nation of Israel. So if you ever heard in the Bible, you'll hear all throughout the Bible, Israel, my people, my people. That's what God refers to us as. His special people. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. I'm going to show y'all real quick that God didn't come from it. You're not coming for everybody. God has only one nation that he loves. Out of 18 nations in the Bible, God is only dealing with one nation. That's, that's right. all of us standing up here right now. Only our people that God cares about. Got right. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Now, now listen, this is the King James Version Bible. That's what I want everybody to understand. The key is remembering this is the same exact Bible that is in every Christian church right now right. that your grandma had, that you that you grew up reading. This is the same thing, and we're going to bring out things that you've never heard, okay? And that's a shame because your pastor should be telling you these things, but they, they're corrupt. We're going to bring it up because the Lord gave us this. Go ahead. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. God said we are a holy people. The word holy means to be separate or set apart and cleansed, okay? Keep going. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Unto himself. Very possessive, okay? That's the point we want to make sure that you understand. That is very possessive that he takes you and puts you and separates you from every other nation. Okay? Go ahead. Above. He says what? Above all people that are upon the face of of the earth. So God said our people, our nation of people is above every other nation. This is the same, this is the same Bible that you've been reading all your lives, but your pastor never told you that. What does your pastor preach to you? He said it's your equal, right? He said we're all equal. God loves everybody. That we're all the same. One love. But when you read the Bible, read that again, read that last part. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God said our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American are above every other nation. That's right. But there's a reason why it doesn't doesn't look that way. Look at where we live right now. Does it does it look like that we're above every other nation in the places that we live and the way that we live? It doesn't seem like that, right? But there's a reason for that. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. All right, we're gonna start there. Because there's stipulation being a special people. Are you a father? Y'all are fathers, anybody? Okay, so y'all have children. So when you give your children instruction, you expect them to do it, right? And if they do it, there's going to be reward for it. If they, if they don't do it, what's, what happens? 
punishment, a consequence. I'm praying that you understand that we understand that, right? All right, so the same thing. He's our father. The Most High is our father, so he deals with us like his children. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass. It says, and it shall come to pass. So whatever's going to be said after this, it's going to happen. Go ahead. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. So he said, if you listen to me, if you obey what I tell you to do, if you do it, and do it quickly, and do it the way I say it, that's what, that's what God is saying right now. Go ahead. That all, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. He repeated the same thing. He said, I'm going to set you on high above every other nation. God said that we are above every nation. If we want to stay on top, we are to obey his commandments and do them. All right? Let's get the flip side because what you said, bro, if we don't do it, what happens? Punishment. Let's get 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. And if y'all got phones, but y'all take this information down, look at the flyers, get these scriptures down that we're bringing out right now so you go home and prove it. Don't just believe it because I say it or, or, or another brother says it. When you hear it, you go and prove, this, prove these things so you come back and be able to tell somebody else. Read that. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Remember that. It's going to happen. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. If I told my son, you better go wash those dishes, and by the, by the time I get home, everything needs to be vacuumed and yard needs to be cut, and I get home and it's not done, what happens? It's going to be a punishment, right? That all these curses. All these what? Curses. You're going to have curses? All these curses shall come upon thee. And overtake thee. There's a list of curses that's going to be put up, put on our um, on the children. Hey, brother, brother, come here real quick. Let me show you something. There's going to be a list of curses that's going to be put on our people. That's what the Lord says. Now we're going to show you that you are a child of a child of God because go to verse 32. We're going to prove this. All right. These are ways that we know that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. It says, your sons and your daughters shall be given unto another people. Now remember, this was written thousands of years ago. Okay, thousands of years ago. So we're going to show, we're going to ask you this. How were our, how were our people given unto another people? Slavery. Slavery. What about you? What'd you say? Slavery? You agree? Slavery. You got the signs right here to prove it. That's right. Our people were, were taken into slavery under every nation That's in this right. world. It's not just the white man. Uh -huh. Every nation had us in the captivity at one time or another. Right. All right. Finish that up. And thine eyes shall look, shall look and fail with longing before them all the day long. Read that part again. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. So like, for example, when it was in slavery, if your son or your daughter was taken and sold to another plantation, what could you do about it? Nothing. You had no power to take your take your child back because why? We was in servitude. We were the ones in slavery. We had, we didn't have any power because we broke the commandments of God. Okay, so that's one way you can understand that we are the children of Israel because that doesn't happen to any other nation. This is documented in heaven. Give me verse forty-eight. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight and verse forty-eight. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. He said, we're going to serve our enemies. Now remember, the, the pastors teach us that we are all one, that we should all be one family. We're all the same. Read that part again, though. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. He said, our people will serve our enemies. That means that we have enemies amongst us, okay? We're going to identify the enemies, too. Go ahead. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. Now remember, why did the Lord send these enemies against us? Because we, right. we, we said, because we didn't listen to him. Yeah. We broke the commandments. Keep going. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. So in hunger and thirst and nakedness. All these stores that we go to to get our food and clothing and, and, and drinks, we don't own these companies. Like if you want, if I want to go to McDonald's right now and get something to eat, who owns that company? 
not our people. The clothing, we, the stores, the clothes that you got on right now, they don't own these these uh, these textiles and these and these companies to, to I mean these um, warehouses that make these things. These are owned by other nations. We had to go to them for everything. Go ahead. And in want of all things. It says in one of all things, the curse that's going to be put on our people is we're going to have to serve our enemies. All right? For what? For a driver's license. Where do you got to go to get your driver's license? Yeah, man. What about if you want to go get a passport? Bring it out. What about uh, a birth certificate? If you want to bury somebody, get a death certificate, you have to go to your enemy. All right? For schooling. You got to go to school. Who do you go to? Your enemy's going to teach you things. Right. There's nothing, there's nothing outside of this word. That, we, that we're going to go to for, uh, we had to go to our enemies for, that's it. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. 